Hello everybody, welcome back, it is Jeff again, and I'm here with a new game called Postmaster. Uh, this game is by Excalibur Publishing, uh, who are best known for Euro Truck Simulator, actually, and they uh, were gracious enough to give me a copy of their game to check out, which I am very grateful for. I like simulation games, played a little bit of Euro Truck. This one, I believe, is about the mail delivery business. So we're going to start just on, uh, start it on medium mode. Start with the normal amount of money and buy everything at the normal price. Choose this to play at the standard level of difficulty. Okay, let's do it. Player one, I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be good. No, I'm just kidding. Jay Sano 19. My company will be Jay Sano Corp. Ooh, vehicle paints and what my company logo. I wonder if I can add my own logos. Yeah, they got a decent selection of logos. That one looks pretty cool. Looks like a UFO. And my paint job. What do I want to? Oh, he's going to be more fire truck esque. That's what he's going to be. Okay. So I have found a Jay Sano Corp. So what is it that I do now? So you move around my little mail world. I see. Can I zoom out? Yes, you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. I'm assuming... Oops. There was a tutorial that I probably should have gone back and played, actually. So let's... <laughs> let's do that since I... I think it was... Yeah, tutorial. Here we go. <laughs> I guess it wanted me to start in the tutorial and I was just like, nope, medium. Let's do it. Okay, so... Tutorial with Jay Corp. Welcome to Postmaster. Ooh, man, this, these are a little bit difficult to read. Is there an option? So I can change the text size or, or color or something? I'm not really sure. Uh, let me move closer to the screen for now. My mission is to take control of a small post office and build up a large postal company, which to represent in the multiple cities. To achieve this, you'll have to organize letter deliveries, packet handling and delivery, and transport mail between post offices as well. You'll have to keep an eye on office rental opportunities so you can expand your company. You'll also have to keep your existing post offices safe from robberies. <laughs> Robbing the post office. Uh, employees and a variety of vehicles will assist you in achieving your goal. Keep your employees happy and your vehicle in good condition. And nothing... As nothing is as frustrating as broken down transport car when there are urgent packages to deliver. You will have the chance to deliver urgent mail for a for a bonus reward and to complete or to compete with a rival postal company. Rival postal company er, as well. Remember to upgrade your post offices to increase their quality, thus having more satisfied customers. As you can see, there's a lot of work needed to run a successful postal company. Good luck. Okay. I gotta try to change this text. It's really hard to read. Uh, first of all, let's get familiar with the game interface. The game menu on the left side. Okay, hang on one second. Okay, unfortunately I did not find a way to change this text, so I'll just have to get closer to my screen and read it to you guys. Above the game menu, you can find the game speed and view menus, which uh, will affect things shown in the game area. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the log window. So log window, got that. The window's in the upper middle. The upper middle portion will allow you to see the upcoming seven days. At the weekend, all post offices are closed, therefore the game will skip them. If you see a holiday approaching, then you will have to prepare for an increase in mail. In the upper right corner, you will find the information panel where you can see your company's logo. Current game time, your available money, and the number of bonus stars. Let's find out more about the information panel. First, let's look at your money. If you buy vehicles or hire staff, your money will decrease. When you deliver... When you delivery packages or sell equipment, or you get money. If you provide a better service, you get more mail and you earn more money. Sometimes you will be lucky and find a priority delivery and get extra income. Uh, so this is all in the upper right still, apparently. The second important thing about is the bonus stars. You can gain them through them every weekend if you do well against your rival or delivery or deliver a priority package. You also get them if you fulfill a mission. You can spend the bonus stars to unlock post office equipment, unlock vehicles, upgrade your staff, or advertise your company. You have to collect a large amount of bonus stars to unlock the third city. How to control the game. Left mouse button selects or deselects menu functions. Click buttons, windows, etc. Right mouse button. Hold down the button and move the mouse to move the camera around the map. Middle mouse button. Scroll to zoom in or out. 
When the game starts, you are given your first post office in the game. Window, look at the yellow post office panel with some icons and your company logo on it. Find and click it. Okay, so I'm right here. Well, this is, is this me? This building? Am I in an apartment building? Here we go, tutorial. Now you're in the post office. You can do the following. Manage your staff, manage post office equipment, go to the garage, see the customers, open the post information window. You can see your staff and add customers, but only during working hours. There are three steps to workers. Customer service, sorter, and security. There are three types of workers. Customer service, sorter, and security. Customer service is very important. They take in letters, postcards, and packets. Sorters work in the back office and send the mail to the right places either out for delivery or transfer to other post offices. Security prevents your office from being out. First, you have to hire staff for your customer service. Move your mouse to the button or the bottom of the office where there are some gray people sitting. Gray people. Push the left mouse button and select the buy function from the pop-up menu. Gray people. Free staff. Okay, so I want to hear it. Congratulations, I have new staff. You can use the pop-up menu to sack or upgrade your staff. If you check the info panel at the top right side of the screen, you can see that the money has fallen because when you hire staff, you have to pay their first day's salary. Okay, let's buy a sorter. Who works in the post office? Office is right side and wears a hat. So, oh, I didn't even see him there. So he's a sorter. <laughs> hire. <laughs> Excellent job. Suggested now you check the garage. The yellow arrow at the right side of the post office. The garage. This is the garage. You can manage your vehicles here. To go back to the office, use the yellow arrow at the top of the garage. There are five free parking spots, so you can buy a max of five vehicles. This is a small post office. Larger offices will have more space. Let's buy a new vehicle. Okay. Let's buy... I guess the first one. Buy vehicle. Window where I can buy my vehicle. Nice. When you choose a vehicle from the top of the window, you can see the vehicle's properties, pictures, and information text. If you have not unlocked the vehicle, you can see the padlock picture and won't be able to buy it. Please click the second vehicle, the motorbike, and use the unlock button, the padlock. Wait, but it's locked. Can I just unlock anything? Oh, get it. So I've unlocked the vehicle, paying with some bonus stars. Oh, I had to have enough bonus stars. The buy button to get the vehicle. So I buy it. When we return to the garage, you'll find that your new vehicle. Very nice. We have a vehicle, but there are some settings we need to change on its to use it properly. First off, we have to set the vehicle type. Move the mouse over the vehicle's picture. Click the left mouse button and select the change vehicle type button from pop-up menu. Choose the first option, letter delivery, for a new pop-up. Vehicle, buy vehicle, replace, Ch change vehicle type, here we go. So letter delivery, post box collector, packet delivery, packet collector, post transfer, or priority delivery. So he's going to be a letter carrier. Now I can see the icon, delivery has changed. Next we have to set the vehicle's path. Ooh, I have to set the path? Add a path. Oh wow, now you're in the path select function where I can select blocks of houses. In this function, the map changes to the strategic mode. Excuse me, the lighter ground allows your post office radius, which stays in the center of the area. Every block has a colored type, disc, and three towers to decide. The three towers indicate the locally generated packages, letters, and postcard count. The other tower at the lower side of the block indicates the required workload for the selected type of vehicle. Your vehicle visit every block that you select and does the job you told it to do. Every vehicle has its own range, so you can only select a limited number of blocks. You can see the actual and maximum number next to the mouse arrow. When you move your mouse over any block, the send transfer the send transparent vehicle sign gets lighter. If you click the left mouse button at this time, you will select this block and the color will change to red. The next mouse click will clear this selection. Uh, you can only select a block in the post office's radius where you bought the vehicle. After you selected all the blocks that you want, click on the post office to save your route. Okay, so my post office is here. 
So this is my... Oh, I must be... I must be there. Why can't I not go this way? So I want to... Path one. Oh, these are telling me where there's mail at. Okay, so I want to get... I gotcha. So that is my post office. So if I go here, 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 here... Oh, no. So I can't get all of them. Let's go like that. That's not quite an Euler circuit. Um... I would like to have connected it. I guess it is an Euler circuit, but... And what was the done button at? Good job. Okay, whenever you want to change the vehicle's route, enter this function. We have to do one more step to finish the vehicle setup. Please use the vehicle's pop-up menu again and choose the manage tasks. Add path, manage tasks. This is the task and shift window where you can set when and how many when and how many times your vehicle goes to work please select the instant select the instantly state from the left side the instantly state okay push the store button to save these settings so he's starting now you yeah, set up the first vehicle let's check out what we did please close the post office window and set the game speed from normal to fast you'll find the window at the top left corner of your screen so close the post office window. Set this to fast speed. There he goes. Boom, boom. Hey, he's not following the path I told him to follow. Okay. Similarly, <laughs> you can set other vehicles as post office collector packets, delivery, and collections, and so on. So he didn't follow the, the way I arranged that path. Now please put the game speed back to normal and then pause the game. Back to normal, and then pause the game. Okay. So we have a vehicle and a post office. Let's install some post boxes. At the left side, the game menu, choose the second icon, Manage Post Boxes. When you enter this function, the game will automatically change to strategic mode, blah, blah, blah. At the left side of the screen, there's a little window where you can select the post box size and delete function. When you move the mouse over any block with a semi-transparent sign, it will change to red. Click the left mouse button and you can buy the selected size post box. If you have a post box here already, you can change the size or delete it. So let's buy a post box. Uh, what I can buy? So since I didn't get the uh, this delivered, let's buy this one. Are sure you want to buy a new post box? Yes. So I've got a post box there. Be observant because you have to send vehicles to the post box. Oh, whoops. <laughs> but only with the vehicle's post office range. When you buy enough post boxes, check, click the manage post uh, post box icon in the game menu. So, I mean, I only have a certain amount of places that I can. Are you sure you want to buy a new post box? Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. Now you have post boxes, but how does the letter get to the post office? Let's go to the garage, select a free spot, and buy a new vehicle. Okay, so in here, garage, new spot, new vehicle. I probably, do I want to buy this one again? Or do I want to buy something like this? Let's buy this guy. Uh oh, because I have to buy one of these. Change the vehicle to a post box collector. Vehicle type, post box collector. Go to the vehicle menu and select shift instantly. Manage tasks instantly. Okay. Go to the add path function. So now I gotta add the path. So he needs to get up to this, this. That's one. Of, this one for sure because it was getting missed. Uh, I mean, I think that's all I bought, right? So, where's the done? There we go. Carefully select where to place on the size of collection vehicles. Okay, let's get, let's buy a new post office already. Man, I'm expanding like crazy. In this mode, buy a post office. Please click on one 
to select the size of the offices. Click on one what? Manage post office advertise competition. Link post up. Wait, what? What did it say to do? I mean, I want to buy a post office somewhere outside of my current range, right? Oops. But I wanted to. Mm, I missed something that I was supposed to do here. So that's my small one. I don't want to sell it. Do I buy an existing post office? Oh yeah, you do. Ha! Huh, look, they're way over here. Um, we'll buy this one. I now have two post offices. Should I buy the third one too? Oh yeah, bought them all. Probably wasn't smart. I don't want to sell it. Um, so now let's do manage my post offices. Okay. But I don't know what I'm managing exactly here. Hold on. Hold on. How do I get out of this view now? So they're not linked. Or something. I don't know what this all means. How do I get back to... Okay, hold on. Escape. I don't know how to get out of this view. Show the tutorial window. Two post offices. Now click the manage post office menu to leave. Then open a new post office by clicking on the white panel. Ah, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Go to the garage, select a free spot, buy a new vehicle. Let's buy, I guess I'm gonna have to buy this one. Post transfer, okay. Post transfer. Go to the vehicle, task, shift to menu, and change the shift to instantly. So that I'm assuming that's what he starts now. Uh, select the first icon that is used to link the two post offices together. Right. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. So, no, I haven't. I'm in the link one. So, link you. The car icon has changed, it allows the source position and the selected vehicle. If you want to deselect the car. Okay, so I'm gonna. Now the possible destination post offices are flashing. So I can get both of these. I do want to link him to there. I made my first link. Okay. So now I was supposed to do what? Click the link post offices button in the game position. Please do this now. You have to click the link post offices button in the game position. Oh, next step is advertising. Let's do it. Advertise. Everett window open. It gave... I gave you 20 bonus stars. If you have an advertisement, you have a better chance of beating my competition. I guess like the advert type and auto upgrades, etc, etc. So I'm going to buy... As you can see, the window shows you the actual advert status. You can have only one advert running. To go further, select the competition statistics button from the game menu. Competition statistics. In this function, you can check out your rivals. Uh, to proceed, close this menu. Uh, they're doing better than I am. I would have to say. That's cool. Sometimes you get a special priority delivery. If you can see a white window with a flashing packet in the city, you have to hurry because the more time taken, the less money, reputation, and bonus stars you will receive for completing each task. So I see it. It's very small. I'll assign this sort of task, this function, and open a post office window. So I need to get into my post office. I need to buy a new vehicle. I'm assuming I have to turn it into a vehicle type of a priority guy priority delivery type okay you say it because you type the priority so what was this supposed to do use the x button to close does he is he automatically going to go please look at the look for and click the priority package delivery okay so he doesn't really set a path you just 
Oh, the white box, okay. Nearest vehicle has been assigned. Okay, that's nice, the nearest vehicle. If the vehicle picks it up and takes it to the destination, then returns to the post office, then you get your reward. Please wait while we deliver the package. Where's he at? Aren't I paused? Where are you at, buddy? Speed it up. I don't see him. Very fast. Um. My priority vehicle is assigned to the package already. Okay. Here's vehicle, then returns to the post office. And goes, Please wait while we deliver. How long does it take you to deliver this package? We're on priority delivery. I'm still paused. Oh, you actually have to unclick the pause button, not just hit play. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So did I get it? Mission succeeded. Click the mission menu and take your reward. Wait, where's the mission menu? Missions. Buy three vehicles to get a bonus. Okay. Mission successful. Was there another one? Interesting. Okay. Picked up another priority package. Is he gonna deliver it again? Oh, I just had to click it in just the right spot. 690 money and one bonus star. Cool, cool. So they're delivering it still. Now please select the mission icon from the game menu. Already did. When you fulfill a mission, main objective will start to flash. When you open the mission, I already went in here. Sorry, I already took. Did I get it twice? <laughs> Ever see my reward? Now select the prices button from the games menu. In this window, you can set the prices. Oh God. Uh, what do you want me to set them to? High and less packages, especially when you have a comp competition. Please set the prices to what you want, and then push the store button. So a letter costs 12 cents. Express letter obviously has to cost more. Postcard price, eh, we'll leave that low. Packet price has to be more than a letter. That's really high apparently. Express packet price obviously has to be more than that. Okay, now please go to the statistics menu. And here you get more information about your company in the last seven days. Four buttons. Okay, I see him. Please go to any post office to check out the equipment. Let's go to let's go to my main one. As mentioned in the start, you can upgrade the post office. So let's go here in this window. You can manage the equipment just like the vehicle window. When you select an item, you can see the properties. Uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, let's select the vending machines. Vending machines, awesome. Um, is this the vending machine? No, that's car service. Car service at the post office. Where's the vending machine? I mean, it was already selected down here, but I didn't. This must be it. Here we go. We're going to unlock it. Let's buy it. Please select. Close the equipment window. Is that what it said? We are in the post office again. I almost forgot a very important thing to hire a security guard. At the top of the customer area. He's sleeping. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I went too fast. Please close the post office window. This window at the right side of the screen, a robbery event occurred. If you have a guard where the robbers appear, you can save your office and your reputation. Otherwise, you lose some money and reputation. Please click on the robbery window to close it. I think you have a new priority packet to pick up. Thank you. Okay, select the priority panel. 
select the priority panel. Where is it though? You didn't take me to it. I gotta hire this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my priority? I don't see the priority package anywhere. Is this it? There it is. Your vehicle broke down! Carsy Maintenance. There's a greater chance of a problem if the car is not maintained. If you have serviceman in the vehicle's post office garage, the maintenance will be done automatically. Please find your broken up vehicle and click on the breakdown window to repair it. You want to repair this vehicle? 198 bucks, man. That sucks. We step, we jump to the weekend, and you can see the weekly reports. Every weekend, you can check your efficiency. The report shows you the main economic information about your company. You can also see the changes from last week and get some suggestions at the bottom of the window. When you finish, please close this window. Ah, uh, spend a lot of money. I completed the tutorial. Next button and I shall drop you back to the main menu. Okay. Whew. That was the Postmaster tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the game.